we say, God save the Queen. Because nothing will save the Governor-General. I think the critical letter here is that Sir Martin Charteris advises Kerr on the 4th of November about the existence and the potential use of the reserve powers. That is the powers to dissolve a parliament and dismiss a government from office. This is happening at the same time as Kerr is refusing to speak to the Prime Minister about those very matters and at the same time that he refused to take the written advice of the Solicitor General and the Attorney General the country's chief law officers about that very question. So that letter, I think, is one that we need to spend more time looking at the implications of that, but I find that very concerning. I think all of those conversations actually are quite inappropriate for the Crown to be having. The Queen has to remain above politics at all times. The Queen has to remain politically neutral. What is being discussed here is the possibility of dissolving the parliament where the government retains its majority and dismissing the government. Now, you could not find something more intensely political than that. <laughs>